Hi guys! Ready for our last video about passive voice? Our goal today is to understand how we use and form the impersonal passive voice. In Spanish, we call it pasiva refleja. We use this structure with verbs which express perception, also a thought, an opinion or a belief, such as say, think, suppose, estimate, consider and some more. But before going to the heart of the matter, let's share an example together and you can have an overview of the structure. Active. People believe that the cinema industry is less successful than streaming television. In passive voice, you have two options. It is believed that the cinema industry is less successful than streaming television or the cinema industry is believed to be less successful than streaming television. Just a quick reminder, consider is used only in this last structure. We have decided to focus our examples on one topic and it's the region of Murcia. And for that, we count on the help of our friend, our British friend, Charlotte. Talking about form, we have different options and these are as follows. And it plus passive plus that. It is said that Murcia is the garden of Spain. To eat plus passive plus infinitive, and this structure is used to refer to present or future. Marineras are considered to be the best tapa you can have in Murcia. Third, eat plus passive plus perfect infinitive, and in this case, this structure is referred to the past. Two sunken vessels are known to have been discovered just off the beach in Mazarrón. We typically use the impersonal and infinitive forms to create a more impersonal or official style, especially when dealing with business scientific texts, for example. The Cathedral of Murcia is reported to have been built between 1394 and 1465 in the Castilian Gothic style. Second, to report the information in an objective style. I mean, without being biased. Carnivals in Aguilas are expected to be celebrated next year. As usual, I want you to show off. Two tries, I'm unsure you will hit the jackpot. Then we have the collaboration of our friend Charlotte. You will hear the sentence in the active voice and you have to think of the two options in the passive voice. Take your time. First go. People in Murcia know that cod fish ball stew is a typical dish of Holy Week. Think about it. Okay, the first one, it is known that codfish ball stew is a typical dish in Holy Week. The second one is codfish ball stew is known to be a typical dish in Holy Week. Excellent. Now let's go for the second one. Now you are a master of the impersonal passive voice. They estimate that the construction or opening of the Roman theatre in Cartagena dates back to 5th century AD. Okay, let's see the results. Let's go for the easy one. It is estimated that the date of the opening or construction of the Roman theatre in Cartagena was back to the 5th century before Christ. <laughs> That's what in Spanish we say, se estima que. The second one is the construction or opening 
of the Roman theatre in Cartagena is estimated to have been back to the 5th century before Christ. If you have got that one, that's the <laughs> Congratulations! Well, time to finish. Again, please have a look at this chart and feel free to pause it as many times as you need to understand this impersonal passive structure. Aprendan Casa Región de Murcia because there will be more to come and Grandma will be peanuts for you. La teacher se despide y os espera en los próximos vídeos.